Hello. Today we'll talk about light. Light is equals to frequency times wavelength. Light itself equals frequency times wavelength. And wavelength is just the distance of a top from the top of a wave to the bottom of a wave. For example, if this is a wave, the wavelength will be the distance from here to here or from here to there. That's a wavelength. And wavelength is presented by the symbol lambda. This symbol represents wavelength. If we keep going, there's also frequency. Frequency is measured in hertz or in s to the negative one, that is seconds negative one, or one over s, one over seconds. Frequency simply means the amount of times that a wavelength passes through a certain spot. So if I'm measuring the wavelength from here to there, how many times do I have a wavelength? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could view it that way. Okay, from top to top is a wavelength. Now, that is frequency. How many times that wavelength passes through a certain spot? It's frequency, and we represent that by this symbol, just like a V. Therefore, when I multiply wavelength times frequency, I get C, which is speed of light. Speed of light is wavelength times frequency. And I could change the wavelength, I could change the frequency. However, regardless of the wavelength, regardless of the frequency, the speed of light is always the same. That doesn't change. And we know that the speed of light is three times. 10 to the 8 meters per second. So I could exchange the wavelength, I could exchange the frequency, but when I multiply those two, I will get the speed of light. I could exchange the value of the wavelength, exchange the value of frequency, but multiplied, I will still always get 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, which is the speed of light. Let's do three examples. Example one, some waves are used to transmit information. What is the wavelength of a wave having a frequency of 3.78? So I am given 3.78. I'm given 3.78 hertz. And I know that speed of light equals frequency or wavelength times frequency. Speed of light stays on top. So I go speed of light divided by frequency gives me wavelength. Plug in my values. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. My frequency in this case is 3.78 times 10 to the seventh, which is given to me, and that's hertz. Therefore, I end up with a wavelength of 7.94 meters. We need to learn, or you need to learn how to plug in the values of powers into your calculators. So you end up, we end up with the right answer. Example two. So, the medical, some medical X, some medical rays are used to, in, in clinics, I am given a wavelength. This is what's important to me, what's given to me. In this case, wavelength, looking for frequency. Same equation, speed of light equals wavelength as frequency. I am given frequency, so that will go at the bottom. Don't forget that, so I'm looking for, I'm looking for frequency, sorry. I'm given wavelength, don't forget that Speed of light is always on top. Speed of light divided by 
in this case, wavelength, plug in the values, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, divided by the wavelength given to me. In this case, my wavelength is 1.12 times 10 to the negative 13 meters. Okay, 13. And my response will be 2.68 times 10 to the 21st hertz. I could also call that S over negative, S to the negative one or one over S. Sample number three. A popular radio station broadcast with a frequency of 99.5 megahertz. Megahertz is given to me. Therefore, the question says, what is the wavelength of the frequency? As seen the radio stations, radio stations transmit information through different wavelengths, sorry, different frequencies. And we change the radio station according to frequency. I am given in this case megahertz. If I have 99.5 megahertz, and each megahertz is each hertz or is 10 to the 6, it means that I have a frequency of 99.5 times 10 to the 6 hertz that is my frequency therefore speed of light equals wavelength times frequency plug in my values so i have 3.0 times 10 to the 8 which is speed of light meters per second divided by my frequency 99.5 hertz when I plug in the values, I end up with 30.15. 30.15 in this case is meters because I am looking for wavelength. So we worked out frequency, we worked out wavelength, and of course, I don't need to work out the speed of light because the speed of light doesn't change. The speed of light is always 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. I hope this helps you out.